Hello everyone, welcome back to the Early Access Beta for x 12, where I continue to test out various things. And in this case, we're going to test out the ortho photos from Fort Boy 2. In this case, it's going to be the California section. And so we'll fly around California and see how it looks and whether it looks proper. Uh, as I understand it, the ortho photos should work from either uh, Fort Boy's US ortho photos or from ortho 4 xp if you downloaded it yourself. And in fact, I haven't like installed it specifically for X-Plane 12. Uh, in the custom scenery folder, I just have a link pointing to the same folder where it's installed for X-Plane 11. So you don't have to reinstall anything, I think. Uh, the scenery should still work, which is convenient. If you already have all the scenery for X-Plane 11, uh, I think it's usable in X-Plane 12. We are about to test that. Uh, XP Realistic has an official update for x 12. They say it works, and people on the forum say it works, so we have XP Realistic in here as well. And for the planes, I have a few planes that have official sanction and one that does not. The ones that do have official sanction, meaning that they are officially uh, said to work with x 12, are the V Skylab ones. So you see the C-47 here. And also, um, the V Skylab ones include uh, this uh, Phoenix U15. I've got the HE162. And yeah, but I'm more interested in testing out the one that doesn't have official recognition that it works in X Plane 12. On the forums, somebody said that the FlyJ Sim 727 works. And so we are going to try that out to make sure it does because it is the number one plane that I want to fly from x 11. Basically, the, this is the most important one, the Fly J Sim 727. The number two was the Flight Factor 757, which currently doesn't, but we should be able to uh, get that working once they get an update for it and everyone will get that update. And anyone who already had uh, Flight Factor 757, I mean. And the Concorde from Kolimata, which I don't know the status of right now. So those are the top three, and then there's plenty of other planes, lots and lots of other planes. So let's see about the 727 here. And uh, the, the reason it's got a question mark here is because that's an add-on livery. It's not one that actually came with the plane. The ones that came with the plane, uh, they have proper icons for, as you can see, and the Pan Am one as well. Actually, let's go with the Pan Am one. Let's uh, keep it reasonable. And uh, I'm just going to max it out to see how it performs like that. Uh, so yeah, that is max fuel and the best payload we can carry with that. And we'll take off from SFO now with the US ortho photos. So previously I had uh, sort of seen San Francisco without the ortho photos. Now we'll see what it looks like with them. I'm not going to go through the full startup procedure. That would be important to check out the plane, but let's just see whether it loads at all or not. So, again, somebody on the forum said it did. I'm not sure. We've gone to a black screen. Oh, uh, okay. That's okay. Uh, but sometimes the planes take a long time to load in x 12 for the first time. After that, it's fine. But the first time, it takes a lot of effort. Okay. It says getting the plane ready. I hear quite a sound. I had to activate both the plane as well as XP Realistic and it also took a while to load the US Orpha photos. The first time you load stuff it takes a while. It is very loud right now so I'm gonna turn that down. Um, there was a warning about the uh, some F mod stuff uh, which is related to sound so some of that might not be working right. Uh, so far the cockpit looks okay, it's a little bit shadowed because of, well, uh, the lighting. Uh, well, our, let's see, forward panel, overhead panel, it says bright. Uh, well, I don't know if the lights are working as well as I need them to. Okay, so this is the interior of the FlyJ727. It's a little bit shady right now because of the lighting. Now we have the engineer panel back there too. And that stuff is clickable as well, but since we're not going through the full startup, we don't have to worry about that. Let's take a look at the outside. One reason that I want this plane here is because I don't expect that they are going to have it for uh, 
flight sim for a while. <laughs> uh, not to this quality, anyway. I wonder what the, the, the leading edge slat is doing there. That doesn't seem right, does it? I'm trying to lower the flaps right now. Let me see if it recognizes that inside. Oh, I heard the click. Okay, the, the flap thing is working, but it doesn't seem to be moving the flaps right now. And again, it was just somebody on the forums who said that it was working, so... So... Might not be quite working here. Anyway, I'll leave that be for now and see if I can take off. Uh, it looks like we're not aligned on the... on the artificial horizon, so the INS is probably not not quite right. But uh, I am still going to go with that. Okay, now it's going. Okay. Sound is pretty good. I don't know which of many problems it's beeping about. I don't think my hydraulics are working because my rudder, I'm full rudder and it's not doing anything. say that the controls are not visibly working and also the landing gear nope well that's a shame you can see how nice it is yeah I mean as, as much as you might like the visuals in flight sim uh, this is a very nice interior and exterior for a plane so I do hope that they update it soon uh, I'm looking forward to it, but it's obviously not working quite right here. So I'm not going to belabor the point. We'll move on to uh, one of the other planes that I have. This one is not operating properly. Okay, I'm going to save us all a little bit of frustration and mention that if you have one plane that has that control issue that we saw with the 727, uh, you need to restart the game because every other plane is going to have the same control issue after that. So... Yeah, so the 727 seems like it needs a fix, uh, but again, the developer did not say it was ready to go, so that is uh, no fault of theirs. I'm going to try the vSkyLab C47. vSkyLab says that their planes are ready to go, so hopefully it will work out, and we will see whether it is. And I'll just keep it all moderate here, and we'll take off again from San Francisco. Okay, so... Uh, we have the auto update plugin that says this is up to date and the cockpit looks great. We see the panels up there. And yeah, let's take a look outside. This is what it looks like. And let me just check the controls. Yes, our rudder is working. Always good to check the controls. Alrighty, so, and this is That's All Brother, which was the uh, first plane to fly on D-Day to lead the charge during Normandy attacks, carrying paratroopers, and we will go. Satisfying rumble. Uh, XP realistic on loading the craft initially, 
uh, noted that it had a profile for the vSky Labs C47, so it has loaded said profile. And we might as well bring up uh, XP Realistic control panel. You can see profile BSL C47. Unfortunately, uh, that all popped up and mentioned that right after the 727 flight, which was how I found out that after you have that control problem with one plane, it persists with other planes. As you can see, it's not a problem with this plane now, but it took a reload for that to fix itself. I had the problem in the X-Plane 11 as well with some planes. I forget which plane. I think it was the B-52 that at some point ended up having a control problem and uh, and that persisted with other planes as well. I think that was it. Nope. I thought I brought the gear up. Well, we had the gear problem with the 727 as well. Maybe it is just going too fast or something. Let me see. I don't think so, though. But I'll slow down. Now you can see the photo scenery thanks to 4.2 and Ortho 4 XP. Wheels locked down, valve in neutral. Let me Yeah, uh, it doesn't want to retract them. We're, we're slow enough that it ought to be able to. But maybe we busted them completely? I don't know. Won't be a surprise. Yep, so I don't know whether that's something that needs to be fixed or something I did wrong. Well, let's head over to Marin and see how things look with the... Uh, US Ortho Photos. Once again, this is a beta version of X Plane 12, so, and uh, everything needs to be fixed. <laughs> I mean, the plane is. I'm sure they're gonna have an update for the plane. It works to some degree of working. I haven't added any other scenery except for the Ortho Photos, so. There is other scenery from X-Plane 11 available, for sure, but one thing at a time. XP Realistic is one of those things I have for X-Plane 11 that I wish I had the FS Realistic, you know, the XP Realistic version for flight sim, but I don't have that yet. Oh, we're going to get bridges. Um, I mean, it's not looking too bad, but they need to get rid of the the extra roadway underneath there. Those cars need to go on the bridge itself. They just need to raise that up a bit. Will do the trick. If they ro uh, got that up to the level of the bridge itself, uh, it worked just fine. Now that might not be a problem with the sim actually, because the ortho photos have the the overlays from OpenStreetMap. And it might be the open street map overlays that have caused that problem, so. So this is what Marin County looks like with the Orpho photos. Everything's going a little bit halting. I still have the set scenery settings pretty high up. I don't know if there's too much of a point to have their settings so high. Uh, texture quality we want maximum because that's what we are seeing with the photo scenery. I don't even know if the vegetation is all that, all that great right now. Taking a look down there, I mean, because the vegetation depends on what OpenStreetMap has told it. I mean, it's fair amount of trees, though. Our performance definitely has gone up. XP Realistic does have, like, uh, 
effects on how you lean in the cockpit because of uh, forces like while you're turning so you can see that happening that can be turned off if you don't like it of course really except for the landing gear staying down there's no problems that I notice and maybe I just busted the landing gear I don't know well, I'm not going to proceed with this one. I mean, there's an argument to be made that we should test whether the landing gear actually works on landing, but it'll be a while before we get to a runway. And I wanted to see about an especially finicky and rare V-Sky Labs plane, the HE-162. But we'll test it at Edwards. Up, since... Uh, well, it is a test pilot situation. Okay, well this one took a serious while to load and this also seems to have a profile. That's handy. The V-Sky Labs planes seem to have those. Uh, so does the cockpit. Uh, it was a test plane so it wasn't exactly in the best shape at the best of times. But uh, yep, we've got the realistic dials. And this is what it looks like from the outside. It's a rare aircraft, so it's not likely to show up for uh, flight sim or anything like that. Not to the quality that we have here. And it's got a lot of damage modeling built in and sophisticated systems. So, yeah. We will see how it all works out. Because the thing about sophisticated systems is, do they work? Right? But we were on one of those dirt runways. Not dirt, uh, dry lake bed runways. Uh, well, okay, up, up, up. I don't know if I want to be on a dry lake bed runway right now. Okay. Yeah. X-Plane does have the ability to make a experimental plane feel experimental. Okay, well, yeah, I, I sort of remember this being a little bit finicky to take off with. Yep. Okay, let's reload that. And maybe I maybe I should start on an actual runway here. Um, regular old runway. Got all sorts of runways at Edwards. Let's just, uh, let's just go for, uh, is that one of the regular ones? Uh, I assume the regular ones are the ones close to the taxiways. Let's go with that one. Okay, a runway. Yes. I think the brakes are... Okay, which way is the brakes off? I think this is... I think there's the brakes off. I had some flaps this time. The sounds are really brilliant though. Maybe I shouldn't push down so much. I mean, I'm not push down. Uh, throttle up so much. Okay, I think we're we're up. I think. Oh 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 no! Please stay up. Oh, but we're getting close to the red line on the heat. 
the engine does tend to want to catch on fire and everything. We see a uh, very repetitive sort of desert texture here and that means that it's overriding the ortho scenery, the US ortho photos with that repetitive texture. And I wish they didn't do that. Uh, I'll have to see, maybe it's just uh, prioritization in the scenery configuration. Ah, here we have the ortho photos which save us from the repetitiveness. Uh, I guess it's not looking too bad in this light. So yeah, I would say this one works well enough and this is an interesting plane. Oh, we've got the GPS there just in case. Oh. Oh no. I've lost the GPS. Uh, bring it back. I, I was just trying to use it. Okay. Regardless of the relatively high frame rate, the sim is sort of halting in a way. Uh, it's okay. I should just, like, maybe lock. The, I, I, there must be a way to lock the frame rate, V sync or something. Might be better. But yeah. Ortho photos to the rescue. It looks much better like this. I think you'll agree. I see a KAPV on the map. Let me just check that one out. We'll try and land there. Apple Valley Airport. Uh, 6,500 foot runway. No problems. I actually don't really want the lean if I can avoid that. Natural movements. Let's uh, reduce that. I, I guess I don't mind the head anticipation, but let's just reduce the natural movements, shall we? Well, there's the runway. Okay, gear out. Well, I should probably stay inside right now. I think the flaps are sort of very ear breaky. I'm I'm just gonna avoid those. The landing gear isn't great either. I don't dare look down. Um, okay, I'm coming in. Ah. Ah. Oh, there we go. Well, I'm gonna have to practice more with this one, that's for sure, but see, that, that this is one of those features, if you're wondering, of, uh, of Good Planes and X-Plane 11. Yep. Alright, anyway, with this ignominious end, I'll just uh, conclude here, but yeah, well, we've tested a few things, XP Realistic seems to do its thing. Uh, this plane seems to be alright. It was always difficult to handle, that's just how it is. Um, the DC-3 or uh, C-47, the landing gear I had issues with, but that might have been my fault. Uh, the 727 just has a control issue, so that's my conclusion there. And at least the ortho photos work, because they save everything, basically. They make everything work better. Okay, okay, I should just throw all down there. Alright, so with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.